love baseball. What? Grandpa. Did you have to wear the, the yellow star? Yes. Yes. We actually landed in Cuba the end of November. Pearl Harbor was bombed December 7th. Mm -hmm. And at that point, the United States government closed up all their borders. They didn't allow anybody in or out of the country. So we lived in Cuba for two years. So how do you start a cause? My goal is to offer kids in Cuba a chance to play by providing them with gear. Great. My synagogue, they make every kid who's has a bar mitzvah do a community service project along with it, yeah. showing them that they're growing up and in the community. And so I love baseball. I've played it for pretty much my whole life. And I thought, you know, it'd be great to just help some kids out who love baseball too, but they just don't have the resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like to send these packages to Cuba. It's a country under sanctions by the United States. Uh -huh. and we don't have open trade with them, just like Iraq. Let's say a baseball is made in Germany. If the string that's used in sewing that baseball is American, Germany cannot sell those baseballs to Cuba. Because of the embargo? Yeah. There are two basic ways to get to Cuba, or actually three. One is illegal, the other two are legal. Right. The two legal ways to get to Cuba are with a general license or a specific license, which are issued by the Office of Foreign Assets Control, part of the Department of the Treasury. So do you think we'll get to go to Cuba? I don't know. So Dad, when I asked you if you're interested in going, you never really told me whether or not you'd want to come with us. Maybe my reluctance to go was more of a more of a fear or apprehension about going someplace that my government wouldn't want me to go. I think it'd be great to go there with you, um, but you know, whatever whatever is best for you. When I was 13, the world seemed like a, a much nicer place. I kind of thought, it's going to be a lot of fun, it's going to be easy to spring baseball equipment, and my parents will probably do most of it for me, and I'll get the credit for it and whatever. But as I grew up, I kind of understood that it was my responsibility to do this myself, because without finishing it, I wouldn't have really felt like I'd grown from the experience. <laughs>